everyone. Welcome to my music theory lesson. This is lesson 10.3, counterpoint 3. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to write third species counterpoint above or below any given cantus firmus. In third species counterpoint, there are four quarter notes in the counterpoint for each note in the cantus firmus. You can start with either four quarter notes in the first measure or a quarter rest followed by three quarter notes. The last measure always has one whole note. The first note of each measure must form a consonance with the cantus firmus. The remaining notes may be consonant or dissonant. One of the last two notes of each measure must be a consonance. Try to limit repeated notes as much as possible. The allowed types of dissonances in third species are passing tones, upper and lower neighbor tones, and the nota cambiata. The nota cambiata is a four-note pattern of a step down, skip down, and then a step up. This pattern can start on either the first beat or the third beat of a measure. The first and third notes of this pattern must be consonant, and the second and fourth notes may be consonant or dissonant. In the example shown, the first note is an E, a consonance. The second note is a step down to a D, also a consonance. The third note is a skip down to a B, which has to be a consonance. And the last note is a step up to a C, which is dissonant. Parallel fifths, unisons, and octaves are not allowed. Hidden parallel perfect consonances are not allowed with one note in between, but they are allowed with two or more notes in between. In the examples shown, the left side is acceptable because the parallel octaves, which are labeled with the lines, have two notes between them. The right side is not allowed because there is only one note between the parallel octaves labeled with the lines. You need to learn and memorize all of the rules of writing third species counterpoint, and the best way is by practicing. Let's try it on the next slide. Write third species counterpoint below this cantus firmus. Sample answer shown. The first measure contains four quarter notes and starts with a unison. The second and fourth beats are dissonant passing tones. The next measure has a dissonant passing tone on the second beat. The next measure has a dissonant lower neighbor tone with an interval of a seventh on the second beat. The next measure has a dissonant passing tone on the third beat. The measure after that contains all consonances. The measure after that has a dissonant passing tone. The next measure has a dissonant upper neighbor tone on the second beat. Starting on the third beat of the next measure, there is a nota cambiata. The second and fourth notes of the nota cambiata are both dissonant and the first and third notes are consonant. The counterpoint ends with two consonances, a passing tone and another consonance in the second to last measure, and a perfect unison in the last measure. Write third species counterpoint above this cantus firmus. Sample answer shown. The first measure of this exercise contains a quarter rest followed by three quarter notes. The third beat is a dissonant passing tone. The second measure has a dissonant lower neighbor tone on the second beat. The third measure has a dissonant passing tone on the third beat. Notice that a B flat is used in the first beat to avoid a leap of a tritone. In the next measure, there is a leap of an octave and a, and a dissonant passing tone. The next measure has a dissonant passing tone on the second beat. The next uh, measure after that has a passing tone. The measure after that has a passing tone on the second and fourth beats. The me uh, next measure has dissonant upper neighbor on the second beat and a dissonant passing tone on the fourth beat. The next measure has a dissonant passing tone on the third beat. After that, there is a dissonant passing tone on the second beat. 
The next measure has a dissonant passing tone on the third beat. The second to last measure is a scale upward with a dissonant on the second beat. The counterpoint ends with a perfect octave in the last measure. Conclusion In this lesson, we learned the rules of how to write third species counterpoint. For more practice, please download my Music Theory app. In the next lesson, we are going to talk about fourth species counterpoint. See you next time!